I will repeat, the government has declassified the fact that they, over 3,000 times from the 40s to the 70s, spread chemical, biological, and radiological weapons and other uh, mixes on the American people. They do it all the time now. AIDS virus, hepatitis C, knowingly, on purpose in the drugs. Hundreds and hundreds of other examples I don't have time to get into. Black men and syphilis, sterilizing 400,000 American women for no reason. On and on and on. So you've got these Malthusian, Dr. Pionkian, remember the UT scientist who gets the 95% standing ovation saying he wants to kill everybody? Uh, Dr. Peter Singer, Prince Philip, Ted Turner, Prince Charles, the Club of Rome. These are uh, Henry Kissinger documents, CIA, all public. i got to make a film about this, population reduction. In fact, that's on the burner to do. I just am so crazy busy all the time. We're going to try to do it, though, in my Bilderberg film that's coming out. Whenever I get that done. But uh, you know, this is the reality. And so the, they are drying out the planet. They are darkening the planet. They are manipulating a whole bunch of stuff, a whole bunch of key uh, you know, areas of our biosphere. And then you've got all the low altitude spraying. It's a whole other separate area. Now, Clifford Carnicom is with us for another 20 minutes and 30 seconds, to be precise. So let's go to your calls. Please have your question, your comments uh, to be brief so the next person gets time. Dave in California, thanks for holding here on the air with Clifford Carnicom. Thanks, Alec. Hi, Mr. Carnicom, and thank you for uh, everything you do. I have two data points for you. I live in the Pacific Northwest, and especially this last year I've been watching very closely. What we're seeing here is uh, uh, off the coast uh, at low level, we're seeing multiple laydowns uh, just in front of the marine layer when it comes on shore in the afternoon and evening. Uh, always in front of wet weather storms, and uh, just this last year was happening in front of every storm that we had, and we had 150% of rainfall this year. That's number one. And number two, and this is really disturbing to me, <clears throat> I've noticed that uh, we don't see any insects around here anymore at all. Uh, there was white light on all night last night outside, and I went and looked this morning. There were two little moths and a couple of bugs circling the light. That's this, this is an area that's uh, a wilderness. There's, there's almost nobody living here. This place should be swarming with bugs. There's no mosquitoes. There are, there are reports that in industrialized nations, insect levels are way down. Yeah. It, it, Let me get a comment from Clifford Carnicom. Um, I think uh, good observations and exactly uh, on mark, uh, very much the case. Uh, these, these operations are destroying these storms. Uh, they are coming ahead of them, and they are destroying the storms. Are they trying to cause them to dump all their moisture before they get inland to the areas like Idaho and other areas? I, I personally think that what you're actually doing is is absorbing the energy from the storms and redirecting redirecting it. In other words, trying to capitalize on that energy within a storm um, and to redirect it for other purposes. What's the goal? Why would they want to do this? Energy is powerful. Energy makes things happen. Uh, if you can control energy, you can do things. Uh, this is how weapons are created in the uh, uh, directed energy weapons, uh, wow. ion weapons, plasma weapons. Dave, I appreciate your call. We're going to have to move on. Great points. Uh, global warming. We know that we're not really having global warming. We're having global, uh, very, uh, uh, very dangerous, uh, fast-moving change is what's happening. Uh, could the globalists be trying to create all sorts of uh, uh, climate shifts and, and, and uh, huge disasters as a way to scare us into accepting uh, this new global tax they're proposing through the global warming hysteria they're pushing? Well, you know, what I can say is they are happening. You know, it's, I, it's hard for me to determine intent, but what I can say is what's happening. And it is happening. My, you know, for a long time, I still, you still find people. They're out there saying these things, this stuff is protecting the earth and this is cooling the earth and this is counteracting global warming. My work shows exactly the opposite. If you look at, if you look at the effects of these materials, the physics of these materials, it is expected. It is expected that they heat up the earth. Well, this is what I expect. If they we dry have it out and they heat it up. They don't cool anything down. They dry it up and they heat it up. Uh, but, but if I had the power to manipulate the weather, I would have a federal bureau of it. I would be announcing it. I would be admitting it. They have these technologies. That's declassified. But they cover them up and deny them. That shows they don't want people looking at this. Our government right now could have killed Hurricane Katrina and Rita. Our government didn't. The question is why? Yeah, you know, it's a combination of both of these things, both as well as covering it up, as well as manipulating how it is released to the public. You know, we're now at the point where you have a bill, and apparently this thing is just a, 
you know, in position. Yeah, the Weather already, Control Board, yeah. Yeah, you have, a, you have a bill on board to basically legalize that which is already being done upon us, which is the way this situation commonly works. My, my senator, Kay Bailey, is pushing it. Yeah, so, I mean, that, that's there. Okay, but, yeah. but then you tell the general public still they can control the weather. They go, and uh, little green man, too. Let's go ahead and talk to George in Indiana. George, you're on the air. Yeah, uh, I live in central Indiana, and uh, they seem to do all their spraying at night because when I get up about daybreak, I see them all in the air. I mean, like, wow, Grand Central Station in the skies. You see streams everywhere. And it wasn't there seven, eight years ago, was it, George? Oh, no, I'm 57, and I... Uh, I do know it's not all of it's just in my imagination, but it seems like the sun is a whole lot brighter than it was when I was a kid. Well, it, well, know. that can be a lensing effect because of the atmospheric uh, differential. That's why the sun looks bigger on the horizon because you're looking through the atmosphere at its thickest point over hundreds of miles, not just through the 20 miles straight up. But what you just said is true. NASA just announced that they thought the last 11 and a half year cycle was the biggest ever. Now they're reporting the sun is online to be 50 percent brighter in the next cycle. Go ahead, Clever Carnegie. Well, the UV, the ultraviolet indices are you know up. This is it's so interesting. You can actually look at a lot, a lot of the popular claims that are out there, and you can actually um, gauge that, indeed, it may be an, an intentional disinformation mode to do so, because, you know, they'll, they'll claim that this material is somehow there. It's always somehow. You never, you know, the mechanics and physics are never really explained. It's just somehow this has to be helping. Clifford, before I forget, did, uh, did you see the big write-up on the federally written textbook where they tell the kids that the government's putting a sunscreen up there to keep us safe? I absolutely did. I absolutely did. Give us your take on that. Um, manipulation, indoctrination, um, um, influence in the population to accept a state of affairs as being normal. That's um, a textbook being used nationwide, written by the government, that is used by eighth graders. Yes, yes. Um, you know, I was at the bookstore uh, just uh, a couple weeks ago, and I go through uh, meteorology books occasionally and such. You have a meteorology book out there now which has a whole new generation. Uh, I'm not going to call them clouds. I use three words. I use uh, contrails, uh, clouds, and aerosols. I actually don't use the word chemtrails. In this meteorology book, you, you know, we will find now an entire new generation of constructed forms. And I won't even call them clouds because they don't qualify. Uh, they don't qualify. Uh, that did not exist. Go pick, go pick up the aviation charts uh, pre-90 and look at the cloud forms that are there in, in the textbooks, aviation book, meteorology books. Go look at what's being described now to the kids in popular literature uh, in terms of cloud types and infinite variations of things that have no physical basis unless, unless you introduce a water-loving salt material that completely changes the dynamics. And Changing our atmosphere. atmosphere. They're, they're terraforming Earth to make it a desert planet, sir? Well, it, it's, it is what's happening. We're being we're being reverse terraformed. So, 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 so we're being reverse terraformed. Are, are you saying that's a, a, a good term? Uh, I, all I can say is, uh, is this material is locking up the moisture that would be um, going into our water table. It is locking that moisture up, and there is energy that is being held within those. So is this the opposite of say taking Mars and making it green? I'm saying, uh, is this a type of terraforming? Well, it, it it fits, Alex. I'll say that it fits. Your, it, it fits if you're if you're changing the climate of the Earth on a global level, and the and the water levels are are being altered. Then what is that other than a? You know, I'm not going to say again. That's an intent. I can only go on data. But what's the result? The result is yes, a form of terraform. Terraforming means changing the Earth, right?